You know, it was another look at good me. one. Like, you know what the best me. ones? Like all, all, most of my friends, we all got busted for drinking or driving. The best one was a buddy of mine. Uh, they read his, and it was like, you know, practically four in the morning, we noticed a maroon VW Fox blowing its horn, trying to pass on the right. We pulled the defendant over. Uh, after repeatedly asking the defendant to stay in the car, he got out of the car, threw his keys at my feet, and uh, repeatedly stated, lock me up, I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and this was funny was my buddy was a good looking guy and the the judge was a was a woman and when the guy read that you know lock me up i'm fucked up and he wasn't the brightest guy and he just kind of he went like he like put his head down like that and he was you know a little pound puppy fucking looking dude and uh she uh she she gave him like a lighter sentence and because he was good looking i think so yeah, I mean that all plays in. It could. That's why ugly people are complaining so much. <laughs> like they they won't take the time to develop a fucking personality, write some jokes, <clears throat> do what the rest of us have to do. Like I don't get mad at Brad Pitt. You know, how come he fucking cuz he's fucking beautiful. I'm a fucking bald red-headed male. I know where I am in the pecking order. And some of these fucking people who are complaining right now who are mad that beautiful people get treated differently. I understand racially speaking, but you're not going to do the beautiful thing. And then, then that's another thing they try to say. Well, society tries to, you know, they're the ones that fucking, did, like, you know, like I love when like there's a supermodel, like this is like an impossible standard of beauty to try and live up to. Yeah. 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 That's why she's on the cover of a magazine. She's that level beautiful. And you're going to try and sit there and tell me that that was learned. Well, here's the thing. That's only women. Because when you see Jason Momoa playing Aquaman, you don't hear men saying that's an impossible standard of beauty that we have to No, I just make fun of that fucking stupid thing trident. he has to hang on to. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't what? care how much you can kick my ass. That is the dumbest <laughs> shit. You should be on a fucking cereal box. It's a for, trident. For years, they had a problem like with Aquaman. It's like he's in the ocean. Human beings are on Earth. Like, what do we? Like, I have to see that fucking movie. To, what are they going to be? Is it going to be like Japanese people, like finning? He's is he going to save sharp? He goes underwater. Is that his skin? Like, well, the bumps. What is that? Is that a suit? Doesn't water get in the gloves? <laughs> you, you think that that have to be all one piece, right? Yeah, it would be think. annoying as shit. Is it any worse look, than water in your gloves? Well, look, it looks like it catches them, like a water catcher. Like, not just, like, water gets in the gloves. It's like a funnel. He looks like a stripper at a bachelorette party. <laughs> he does. A good one. Like, you paid money. You got a good one. Guy dieted down for that. Um, yes, he did, and he got all the abs. <coughs> so he's he's better than I am. Oh, he's, this, is, this is the fall That's look. a different one. Yep. The fall look. <laughs> <laughs> this is when he's in the Black Sea. You know what I mean? He wants to fucking... Gets cold. Yeah. Did you see what's uh, going on in the UK? The UK has banned advertisements that uh, feature uh, unobtainable bodies. There's a, I, I, no, I Jesus, retweeted the, the way eat I tweeted it recently. The way they eat fish and chips <clears throat> over there, that's going to be most of advertising. Well, they had uh, these ads for summer bodies. You know, you see a girl in a bikini, and they're now making it illegal to why, put those kind of Why can't you up. aspire to that? Like, well, I look at that Aquaman guy that makes me want to go to the gym. I don't be like, oh, you know. He's got a full head of hair. Look at like you got to make me feel better. It's because of the people that complain. Who are the people that complain? The people that complain are the people that don't want to work to be that lady. They don't want to work to get that kind of a body, and they want to. They just want to not see it. They don't want any. They don't want to go to the subway and see a body that they're never going to have. Yeah, I saw. I saw an actress complaining one time because the studio told her that she she needed to lose fifteen pounds. I'm like, you can't drop 15 to star in a movie? I mean, <laughs> what what carrot can they, specifically carrots, some veggies in your diet, <laughs> what do they have to dangle in front of you to go to the fucking gym like the rest of us? Like, I literally, like, because I always say, oh, guys don't have to deal with that. It's like, yeah, we do. Of course. Yes, Apple we do. Man like, had to deal with that. What I if know, he gained 20 pounds? Dude, forget about him. If Just having five lines in a fucking movie. If I am north of 171, 72 pounds, the fucking tweets I get, hey, Billy Booze Bag. <laughs> hey, Billy Bitch Tits. <laughs> Hey, fat freckles! All of this shit that I get, like I know, like they they sit there and they like they they have like uh, they're acting like like fucking preteens, where everything is just everything's about them and the whole fucking world gives a shit. Celebrities t t with their fucking political views is the funniest thing ever. It's like all you're you're not 
You're not making anybody change their mind politically. I feel like I need to fucking speak up. It's like, no, you can't have the spotlight on you enough. That's all you're doing. Because all you're doing with that bullshit is, you, first of all, you're alienating half the fucking people that are going to go see whatever the fuck you're in. And then secondly, you're just getting on the radar of lunatics in white vans with two seats that are looking up how to fucking build pipe bombs. Like, that, that's, that's the fallout. <laughs> It's like the jerk when he goes, average, run-of-the-mill, son-of-a-bitch, you know, when he picks Steve Martin. The idea that a girl shouldn't be asked to lose weight to look hot for a movie is fucking crazy because that's what you're playing. You're playing a hot woman. That's and there's, part of and the there, job. And there's millions. Of, dude, everybody's in shape. I remember fucking yeah. seeing, uh, I used to do a bit about this. I saw uh, Ben Stiller in, in, in Meet the Fockers or something. There was a scene where he had to have his shirt off in the pool. He had fucking abs yeah. in a comedy. Yeah. Because that's because you were seeing the influence of the fucking internet. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, you know, it gets in your head. People just fucking trashing you. Like, I already knew I was unsightly, but I didn't realize how many things that people didn't enjoy about me <laughs> until I got on the internet. I was like, wow, I never noticed that about myself. So, um, yeah, I don't have... Um, look, if somebody really has like a fucking eating disorder, you know, if you're like fucking obese, I have sympathy for those people. But if you're 15 pounds, 20 pounds overweight, well, I mean, fucking... That. <clears throat> yeah, you know, he drink some well, fucking smoothies. These women that are playing these roles have to understand, first of all, that part of the reason why you got that role is not just because of your acting ability, but also because you're pretty. You have a beautiful face. You were born with it. You didn't even work at it. And then on top of that, you're supposed to be playing a beautiful person in the movie. They would like you to not be fat. Well, it's there's also simple. there's That's also not there's millions of dollars at stake yeah. that could be lost. So I always feel like your job is even if you look like me. <laughs> is to show up on time knowing your lines in the best possible shape you could get yourself in. That's, if that's the role. That's the pro I, Even if I'm just fucking playing anybody. What if you're Artie Lang? What if you're Artie Lang and you're supposed to play the guy that's smoking cigarettes and you're the brother-in-law that's drunk all the time? Then your job's yeah. to look that way. Yeah, your job's to look yeah. that way. Yeah, her job's to look like the hot woman that everybody wants to fuck. It, if it, they're telling you you have to lose weight and you're, you're a beautiful woman, it's because they want to make you more attractive. It's there's not like discrimination. There's a reason. They want a better product. Oh, they want to make money. Yeah. They yeah, want they're trying they to make want money. a better yeah. product. And uh I'll tell you another thing too. Like really, that those both male and female, like those beautiful people at that level, it's like they're fucking aliens. Like I, I've done a couple of movies. I did a movie one time and I remember uh it was a scene we were in a car and the star of the movie was holding onto the steering wheel and I was like like I never thought this ever about a woman. I was like, her forearms are gorgeous. <laughs> I was looking at him like, like, I was like, those forearms are perfect. <laughs> but I didn't make me, when I went to Stockholm, Sweden, how beautiful the people were there. I was walking down the street pointing at guys with my wife going, Nia, look at that guy. Look at that. That fucking guy, like he's like an accountant walking down the street. He's like, does he know if he fucking came over here, he'd be starring in movies? And that's not all of Sweden, by the way. That's like just when you're in Stockholm. That's like their Manhattan. So all the beautiful fucking people. But I mean, I went into a couple. I went to this mag. Went and uh, bought like a a magazine or something like that when I was over there. And the woman behind the counter was like a fucking eleven here, but she was working at a magazine stand. So that was her energy. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working in a magazine stand. <laughs> My dream hasn't come true yet. And you're just looking at him like you you could sign with a who was that big uh, modeling Ford. agents? Yeah, like that all like Cindy Crawford yeah. and all them were with back in the day. The Vikings, it's Viking blood. They the best looking people. They they went over there and raped and pillaged, and all that good DNA is left there. They caught the best women. They kept them alive. Killed everybody else. Oh, is that what happened? Oh yeah. I don't know what happened. Vikings, but, but like uh, that's why they're so big, beautiful. Oh, yeah, no, they're super Perfect tall. Features. That's one of the funniest things ever. When you go over to, to like, uh, the, uh, what do they call those? The Nordic, mm -hmm. and then Scandinavia is within the Nordic countries. I always have to remind myself of that. Like, you'd go over there. It was the funniest fucking trick because they're so goddamn tall. There would be kids almost my height whose voices hadn't changed yet, and they had the mentality of, like, an 11-year-old. And they'd be like, Mom, I want to be. Except they were speaking that. I said, hi, I said, hey, how did, when they were talking. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> voice hadn't changed yet and i was just sitting there laughing my ass off going these are like fucking yeah they were like everybody was like uh like six three six four six five like rail thin with their fucking european pants 